What's up everyone? Corey Parks here, Hydro Help 91. Wanted to shoot another video. We've shot quite a few videos on this and we're still getting questions and we want to make sure everybody fully understands this. This video is in regards to ventilation systems in your crawl space. We want to talk about why they do not work. But first, we want to talk about how we have experience in these systems. This is not just something that we don't sell. Um, we currently don't sell it no more, but we used to be a preferred installer for a reputable ventilation system company. Went through all their training, installed systems and stuff like that. And it wasn't until later down the line and we were going back to these houses to perform annual maintenances that we started realizing these systems aren't working. And we wanna to talk to you a little bit about the ventilation systems and why they're not working and why we don't prefer them and why we don't sell them no more. So first and foremost, behind me, I have a controller for this ventilation system. And most ventilation systems, their theory is, let's pull the outside air into the crawl space. And so the general gist of this system is, set the sensor outside, mount a sensor inside, the system will run calculations when the outside air is better than the air that's in your crawl space. This system, this brain, would cut on fans that mount in your foundation vents, such as this, and then also what you know dead air fans or dead space fans it would cut them on and create a draft through your crawl space here's the issue with that just because the outside air is better than the air in your crawl space and when we say better we mean lower dew point uh, less humidity temperatures lower just because that's the case doesn't mean that the outside air outside of your house outside in the environment is the air that you want in your crawl space. We like to give this example, you know, June, July, August, September here in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area, even at three in the morning, the temperature and the humidity that's outside is still not air that you want in your crawl space. And during those months, that air at, at two, three, four o'clock in the morning is going to be the best air possible for your crawl space. And under the premise of these ventilation companies, their system would automatically turn on and bring that outside air in. Again, the problem with that is the air that's outside may be better than the air that's in your crawl space, but it's not the air that we want in your crawl space when we start talking about moisture and mold and structural damage and increased moisture levels, which termites and pests and stuff like that are attracted to. So we went back to them and asked them, hey, given that situation, given June, July, August, September here in the Southeast, here in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area, what is your recommendation? Because that outside air at two, three, four o'clock uh, in the morning is still not the air that we want in the crawl space. Here was the answer we got, install a dehumidifier. That kind of baffled us a little bit. And of course, we gave no response right away. We kind of went through the pros and cons and brainstormed and what we come up with was if we need this dehumidifier, which this particular dehumidifier, this 100 pint dehumidifier, runs anywhere from $1,100 to $1,400, depending on the brand and shipping and stuff like that. If we need this piece of equipment that's over $1,000, why do we need this ventilation system here that is $1,500 plus? Why do we need it? We could save the $1,500 plus the labor to install it, because that's just, the $1,500 is just for the material, you're going to end up paying a company probably another thousand to fifteen hundred to install this. We could save this money on this ventilation system, only install this, seal that crawl space, and we won't need the outside air. This dehumidifier will pull the moisture out of the air that's in your crawl space. So we wanted to shoot a video just to talk about the ventilation systems, whether you get it off of Amazon, whether you go to a local hardware store, or whether you go through a uh, manufacturer that actually puts some time and um, research into a full complete system they're not worth it you're going to get more mold you're going to have structural damage at some point you're going to have issues and you're only making your crawl space worse i know it's a cost effective option to go to lowe's and to buy a vent fan that's only 80 dollars. but what you don't understand is is you're going to have tens of thousands of dollars of damage sooner if you'd have went this route. If you go this route, you can get a warranty on it. And we just want to try to get the word out about how these are actually harmful for your crawl space. Just to kind of help you understand that, if you call five companies out to your home, take a look at how many recommend ventilation systems. You might get one. So four out of five companies are going to recommend a dehumidifier and there's a reason behind that. 
you're saving money, it's something that that company can stand behind a lot better on their warranty, and the dehumidifiers are proven. We hope this video helps. We hope you will heed, a, heed our advice. Stay away from the ventilation systems. If you have any questions or concerns about it, we'd love to see the comments down below. We'll try to get answers to you as quick as possible. Y'all have a good day.